Hello ladies, this is Carolyn from Lacey Creations in South Australia here today with another journal. I was supposed to be in the garden today, but it rained, so I'm, I've been in the craft room finishing this one off instead. I'm quite excited to bring this to you and show you. Um, I've just made it over the last week and uh, I really like it. I really enjoyed making this, probably because I am a bit of a sewer. Um, but I found a beautiful sewing magazine um, from 1952 and it's just got the most lovely feeling paper in it. So I've used quite a bit of that in here. I'll show it to you as we go along. And then yesterday I went into town to an op shop and I found a beautiful vintage Scrabble game. So I came home and I ripped off what I had on there <laughs> and I replaced it with these Scrabble pieces. There's lots of Scrabble games in the op shop, but very rarely do you find the true vintage one. So um, I was happy with that. And then here I've just got a Tim Holtz um, ruler, chipboard ruler. And this is a piece of, um, out of a piece of material I had that I cut this lady out of. These little sewing notions. And I've given her, she had a funny, funny looking face. So I've just given her a little veil there. She's off to the races, we'll say. Little veil there and a little feather. And um, I'll stand it up. I'll stand it up and then that's the um, little spine piece I've found. Nice little piece there and I've just put a piece of tape on the back. And then on the back of it, the book is um, just a doily that's wrapped right around. I've made, um, the cover is mostly made out of this cream canvasy type material. And it's a Reader's Digest. So the closure is a um, Tim Holtz shank. And then I've just used this black lace. I don't use black very often in my journals, but I just, because I did a lot of black zigzagging in this one, I thought the black lace went quite nicely with it. So you just put your fingers through that loop there and it just sits on there like that and closes quite nicely. It's got quite a bit in it, but I've tried to keep it as flat as I can. My journals seem to all end up with an alligator mouth, so I've tried to keep it flat just by using thinner um, laces. Okay, let's open it up. Got a little kit there, I'll show you that afterwards. So, we'll open up to the first page. I've used um, digital collage club papers for some of the, the um, pages. And um, these pieces came from a pad, from a scrapbooking pad, but I'm just not sure which. That's a little piece of vintage tape measure there. And this is um, starts off with a letter from the bookmaker in there, in the pocket. And that's a, um, a part of a, a, an old doily, that pocket. And a little cluster of material there. I always remember my mother stapling little um, the sample of the material that she was going to use to the pattern packet. So I've put a, two or three of them in this book. Started off with just a bit of lace here, and this is a digital collage paper. And there's um, a fabric pocket there. It's a lovely piece of broad rayon glaze with pink roses on it. And this is the start of the book that I was telling you about. And it had no cover. And I know it's definitely not a Woman's Weekly, so I don't know what book it is, sorry. But it is this beautiful colour. I've, I've only inked the edges of the card, but I haven't actually in inked the book. And those images out of it. So that's the first pocket. This is a, just a little journaling card. I just collaged a bit of um, the German book that I have, some book page, music, and then one of the images out of that sewing book. 
And that's just a paper clip with a little um, bow. And then over the page, I've got this tag, which I've just made with a um, piece of pattern paper, a little dress on top of a blouse there. Now with these blouses, my first um, thought was to watercolour them. And then I thought, no, why don't I leave it and let whoever um, ends up with this book or buys this book, they might enjoy doing some watercolouring themselves. This pattern is a very old pattern. It's very hard to go around the op shops and find any vintage patterns anymore, but this one I've had for a long time, and it's very old. And, and you can tell the age of patterns by the envelopes, the colour of the, the paper, um, the price, obviously. Patterns these days are $20 a pop, and some of these are only $0.65. Cents. So here's a little cluster here. I've tried to keep um, as many blank pages as I could so that um, the person buying it can do journaling in it. That's just another little material cluster there on the side with a button and a tiny miniature tag. Put the word bonnets there. That came out of um, the old book. And this is a pieces of the pattern notions. And then over here, I've got a glassine bag in here so in the glassine bag I put this tag and that tag's got a piece of vintage tape measure on there and a bit of um, embossing and a lovely little girl off a pattern I just I loved making this I really did I had so much fun and then that's just a little commercial tag that came out of a magazine it's a, just a little scrap that I made into another card and another picture of the pattern just on the little card. So that all just pops back in there like that. And a big tag goes in the glassine bag. There. Now this is an original cover of a 1958 Woman's Weekly. Um, last time I put one of these in, I felt the paper was too fragile. So I actually, oh gosh, here's one of my um, embellishments on my arm. Um, so I photocopied the paper, but this time I've put the original cover in. So it does tear... So you just have to be a little bit careful of it. So it's a 1958 cover. Um, this is a just a little floating pocket that I've made out of uh, ledger paper. And that ledger paper is dated 1926. It's a um, prescription book that I have, a chemist prescription ledger. And then inside there, I've got some... Oh, some old buttons and some linen thread, which is 80 cents. So it's probably fairly old. It's probably from the 80s, I would guess, at that price. So with this ledger paper, I've put another piece of this little vintage tape measure um, and a girl off a pattern, a bit of seam binding there. And then this green vintage tape measure that I found. I couldn't believe my luck when I found that. It's so lovely. And then that's just a little cluster there. So that pops over the page just like that. And on there also is, that's just off one of my um, vintage cotton reels. And it was loose, so I pulled it off and stuck it on there, as you do. And um, you can tell... You can tell things are old when they have Made in Australia on them because, you know, all that sort of manufacturing, it hasn't been around for a while. Here's the other side of that um, Woman's Weekly page. And then here, these lovely old buttons I've put onto this card. This is a faux button card. And I've just roughed that up with my seam ripper and then inked it up and sewn on these vintage buttons. These truly are vintage buttons. 
and just made it's it's not really a belly band but just a little band there with some vintage lace go on that button page this blue lace it's very fine and very thin it's a very old vintage roll that i also have then on this page more of that lovely old pattern there this is a paper bag that i've put in the middle of the signature this book has two signatures by the way so I've, i made a paper bag with that i've left that blank so that you can write in it and then you've just got sewing notions here from the pattern and i just thought some butterflies would brighten up the day because sometimes you're sitting in your sewing room and a butterfly comes and lands on your windowsill so i thought the two went together and then I've got um, a page here out of another magazine. This is, oh, this is the 1958 Woman's Weekly. Look at the dress. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I wish we were. I wish I was born back in that era and had those clothes. I just love them. And that's another page out of here. Tailored to fit. Weren't the woman just dressed so... Look at that. The, the woman were dressed so beautifully in those days. I had a daughter that had a vintage wedding and all the guests came dressed in vintage and it was so exciting, you know, seeing what ideas different people came up with. Bit of stamping on there. And then here's, um, that's just from that pad. I can't remember the name of that pad, sorry. If I think of it, I'll put it down in comments. And there's another digital collage club card. And this is just another envelope. I've just been trying to use up all the notions that come off the, the pattern packet. So I wasted nothing and I just, I really like these numbers and words that stood out. So that's an embossed envelope and I've got another book page in there. Oh, this is from the, um, the old book. See the colour of it, it's just beautiful and it has a beautiful feel. And it's not as fragile as you think it would be. It's not as fragile as the Woman's Weekly, but I think it's older than the Woman's Weekly, just from the colour of it. Just goes in there and then I've popped another little girl from pattern piece, pattern number, little size two child. You can use every piece of a pattern. You know, you really can. Let's see how this side of the cover. That lovely old blue lace and then I've just put a piece of blue rick rack on there. Bit of stamp in there. I, I wanted to leave some blank pages, but you know, you go through and you go, oh, is it too blank? Is it too blank? It's hard to hard to get an even balance. And this is a lovely piece of ticking that I've got. And I thought I thought that would make a good journaling space as well. Here's the rest of that blouse pattern. Some more tick in there. Now on this side, this ruffle, I managed to find in an op shop a really old Holly Hobby dress, and it is really old because the the material is just so soft and it just tore like paper, you know. And then I've got this little charm here that just worked in well with this picture over here on this side of the page. So a little charm of a singer sewing machine. And that brings us to my favourite page. <laughs> I don't know. Somehow these journals bring out the your childhood in you and, and just cutting and pasting. I just oh, I enjoy it so much. I'm so addicted to it. Anyway, these are this is just another pattern and I've just um glued it onto more of this backing paper of Digital Collage Club. In this page too. So this, it's really funny when you when you do something, 
you know, sometimes I make up tags ahead of time and I don't really plan that I've got things. And then I went to the op shop and I found this uh, this green tape and I I just happened to put it on that page and then I'm like, oh, I've got a green dress on this page. So, you know, it just sort of tied in and I thought, thought it looked really lovely. Here's another piece of notions that I've just made into a little card, little pocket out of the pattern piece, the out of the um, directions. So I thought that all went well together. And then here, this little charm is a cup of tea because I don't know about you ladies, but when I'm sewing, I have to have a cup of tea. So that's just a little cup of tea there. And this is another op shop find, another old blouse I bought. Um, and I thought, oh, you know, and it was all covered in these appliques. Who has these ideas? And I thought, oh, I'll cut the appliques out. Well, it took me probably half an hour to cut that out because it's got this fine fiber on it and I was trying not to cut the fiber and get underneath so it took me a long time to make that little tag but anyway I think it's come up quite nice and it's in a little um, fabric pocket there just with some little embroidered flowers on the bottom of it and then here I've just got an, another couple of charms a sewing needle and a piece of a ruler, and they're just there. And this is um, some embossed card that I've done, and I just made this little booklet out of pattern pieces. You've seen, you've seen. I think it's Gail Agostini that um, started off making these little books. You just fold the the pattern piece over and over, and then sew it. And then I just put a piece of lace there. The sewing information that came out of a magazine and um just using some more of these notions look at that that's just the the pattern piece and it's so i well i think it's so uh corker in there it just fits a bit of sewing notions 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 and these are booking pages anyway just a little notebook to put some more jottings down in more of the woman's weekly Another little journaling card. More little fabric clusters and embellishment on there. And then I've given you another page. These pages would be fantastic for collaging or for making your own sewing journal and just using these words and popping on tags. There's journaling space there. More sewing notions. And, oh, isn't she sweet? <laughs> this little cabinet card I found in my stash. And, um, and then I found this picture frame and I thought, well, you know, every, every nana has to sew a little dress for their little girl. So there's a little picture of the little girl. And here's a tag to give you some prompts for the sewing. It's the front of the dress there. I've just collaged that magazine paper onto some book page. And there's a little set of um, ballet slippers there as a little charm. Let me come over to this page. This page reminds me of my own mother and my own childhood. My mother was a dressmaker and... You know, I, I remember her having these patterns. It's, it's like China. As soon as you see it, you can think, oh, that auntie had that or, or you know, whatever. And I just remember mum having this pattern. And that's just the number off the pattern on there. But doesn't it stand out well on the book page? And I've sewn around most of the tags, as you can see. Here's the other end of that cotton reel made in Australia and another piece of the vintage tape. I turned it that side up so that the red went with the red on there. My little swatch page there. And then again, the blouse and the skirt, I just thought that would look really lovely done with watercolour. 
So hopefully the person that buys this has got some watercolours or got some other idea. You could put lace on there. You could embellish it with lace. Another set of old buttons. I've strengthened some of these pages with washi tape just because they're so fine. Um, and I couldn't find... I know I've got some hook and eyes in my stash somewhere, but I couldn't find them. So I've just put these little snap fasteners, but they're they're a dollar ten. You know, to buy something like this now, you're probably looking closer to ten dollars. Everything's got so expensive. And that's why we stopped sewing. You know, when I when I used to sew little dresses for my girls, um, it was worthwhile sewing, but now it's you know, you can buy clothes so cheap it's probably not worthwhile sewing. So this one, because I had this notions page here with the bonnets, I found this in the old magazine and I just made, that's just a, um, backed onto some coffee dyed paper um, and then a little tuck just with the hats. And this is a lovely lace, blue lace dress here. So I thought it went with the blue on this page. And then on this page, I've got more of that old pattern on that nice card. How to draft. See, that's another thing. When my mother sewed patterns, it was a dressmaker. Um, she used to draft her own patterns, but these days, most uh, people don't. They just buy patterns. And just a little cluster there of lace little swatch of fabrics again more magazine page and then on this page I've got another one of those digital collage club cards and I've just put lace over here and then this is another one and I've just embellished it made it look like a bit of a ball gown or a wedding dress I'm not very good with fiddly things, but I try. <laughs> and this tag here, this is probably one of my favourite tags in the book as well. It's just, um, I decoupage the, the pattern paper, which is like tissue, onto the card. And then fussy cut this little girl, added a bit of lace. And, of course, then I thought, oh, why not put a butterfly on there too? <laughs> so I just added a butterfly. And here's a little sample of lace. that just goes in that little side pocket there. And you've got nice journaling space on the back. And this is um, some embossing I've done here of an envelope. And just um, put these bits of sewing things there. That brings us to the back. And in the back, I've made another floating little pocket. It could be glued down, but I really liked... This is a, the original inside cover of the Reader's Digest that I've used, and I really liked it. So I didn't want to glue... Uh, my original plan was to glue that down, but then I thought, no, the owner might like to do something different. Sometimes you can buy a journal, and then you can use pieces out of it to create your own journal and that's what I hope would happen you know I just like to make things to inspire someone else to create their own thing so that's just another little so there's um one two three three pockets there and then a big one at the back uh, one two three can't even count it's just a tag I've done with a big stamp I've got and that's a faux stamp there, a bit of stamping with the writing. And then in the back, another decoupage card. Oh, and there's a bit of writing up there. So then I thought if you glued it down, you could just glue three sides and then you'd have a big pocket at the back again. So that's the idea behind that one. 
And then I had, when I was cleaning up my desk, I had a um, bit of a moment and I thought, why not use some of the scraps up? So this closure, it's just got a loop here. It's got a, an eyelet there and a, a loop here and I've just tied the four bows together and I just put that over the loop and it just closes like that. So that's how she stands. I really enjoyed it, so I hope you ladies are enjoying it as well. So uh, when I was cleaning up my desk, I had, you know, lots of scraps laying around. And so I said to my husband, why not make an envelope and just put all the scraps in it and call this a tag kit? So that's what I've done. I've put bits and pieces in here and whoever buys the book, they can make up more tags and they can either add it to this book or they can make their own um, sewing journal and, and use these bits and pieces. So this little envelope is just made out of a piece of um, vellum that um, we printed a book page from out of the old book onto that. And then I just stitched around it and put it onto coffee dyed paper. So that's the envelope. And then in here, you've just got bits and pieces, little bits and pieces. Nothing's made up. It's just there for you to make. So that's a little piece of belly band on a piece of paper. Some little cards. These are just the notions of the, um, of the sewing patterns. There's a few pieces like that of those. More cards. A few little embroidered flowers just so that you can use them as embellishments some little tags and then i popped you a little piece of this vintage tape measure in it's really lovely that a little bit of the blue lace oh just little bits little bits that you can use on a tag and then these pieces as I said, they were just scraps on my desk and I thought, well, why not add them in? And whoever gets it might like to make their own tags or their own journaling card. And it'll all get used and not wasted because I don't like wasting anything. I like to use up all the bits and pieces, all these. You, can, you think, oh, what's that bit of scrappy paper? But you can collage with that and then put something on it and it, it just looks really good. So... That's what's in there, and I put a button card there. So how I made mine, I use my seam ripper, and I scrape along the edges to rough up the edges, and then I teeter, um, ink it, and it comes up looking really old. And these are just some of the um, Digital Collage Club cards. Another little tag. Some more little um, snap fasteners that are quite old as well. And in case you haven't got any pattern paper, I put a bit of pattern paper. So I put a white one, which is old because they don't make white patterns anymore. And a piece of brown. And then just a few um, blank tags. There. So all of that's inside the envelope. And this is a another full book page I've put in there for you. But see, these these little pieces, they just they look really lovely on tags. You could make that into one big journaling card or two journaling cards. So there's that. And I did give you a piece of my green tape because <laughs> I just love it, so I have to share it. Okay, ladies, that's all there is. Um, I hope you enjoy that. If you're interested in it at all, you can drop me a comment down down below in the comment section or you can go to my Facebook page to Lacey's Creations and send me a private message there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and um, we can talk about the details and postage and whatnot. And that's all there is. So I hope you all have a lovely evening, what's left of it. And um, I'll see you again soon in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.